The Oregon Zoo is working to prevent a species of newt from going extinct. The Mazama newt can only be found in Crater Lake in south central Oregon. The zoo says this species of newt used to be the head honcho of Crater Lake. Now they can only be found in about 5% of the sites surveyed. Through a new conservation program, the zoo has captured and relocated 19 of the newts to its conservation lab. Conservation keeper Julia Lowe says the zoo worked hard to make sure their new environment matches their original as much as possible. They've actually settled in very well. Uh, we haven't had any challenges, so we designed this lab to unnaturally mimic Crater Lake as much as possible. So our water chemistry is the same as Crater Lake. We received that information from years of, of water chemistry is done at the lake. Our temperatures are the same, um, average temperatures as Crater Lake. Um, we are offering these newts all kinds of food options for them to, they so far have not denied anything that we have offered them. Um, so they're great little eaters. A bit of history. The zoo said crayfish were deliberately introduced to the lake in 1915. Surveys have been done of Crater Lake for several decades. It was in 2008 that scientists saw a noticeable drop in new populations and an increase in crayfish. By 2025, newts were only seen in two locations within a thousand feet of each other. Everywhere else was crayfish. They did studies at the lake in 2015 um, that did show that the crayfish are aggressive towards mm -hmm. the newts and will predate them. Um, in addition to that, they are eating the same food sources that the newts eat. So it's both. They're, they're one, predating on the newts, and they're also eating their food source. While the Mazama newt is not on the endangered species list, the zoo and its partners took it upon themselves to take action. Lowe says this is, the, is only the second time the newt has been in human care, but it's the first ever breeding effort. If successful, the offspring of the first 19 newts will be released back into the lake. Because the Crater Lake is only accessible from early July until the end of September, there's a lot of gaps in knowledge about these newts. Mm -hmm. So we believe from what we have based on the weights and the sizes that we receive that we have fairly young newts. Um, from what we know, there's nothing known about their breeding time of year, their breeding age. But if we go off of a rough skin newt, um, which is their, they're the subspecies of, it's generally four to five years. So it could be a couple of years before we start to see signs of breeding. Lowe says these newts are not available for public viewing at the moment, but the zoo is working on enclosures so people could see this rare amphibian up close.